Hi guys, welcome to MathsPays.com, looking at line graphs and stem and leaf plots. So to start off with the line graph, for the most part, you'll just be asked to interpret information from the line graph. You might be asked to, asked to draw one, which is pretty straightforward. Um, basically, it's a normal graph. We've got our, our x and our y axes. That's our x axis there, which in this case has our age on it. We also have a y axis. In this case, it's height and feet. So line graphs often are used to compare two different things. Okay, so in this case, we're looking at the height and looking at versus the age. And you can see this is Russell's height at three year intervals. And so at the moment, Russell's probably 24 and we're looking at his age since he was uh, age three. Okay, so um, information that we can be asked are things such as, you know, um, what was his height when he was six years of age? We can hear, see here that's our six years of age. We go up to our little dot, go across to the Y axis there and he was 2.5 in this case 2.5 feet so at six years old he was two and a half feet we might be asked to say what was his um uh his height i guess when he is 24. so again we can go up to the very top one 24 now that's a bit of an estimation probably about 6.1 feet approximately um, so we can be asked him for information we can ask about like the difference between um, his height between six years and three years which in that case we, our six years and three years would be our two and a half feet and we can subtract the two feet which means therefore we have a half a foot um, difference in those two years so it's basically just reading information off if you're asked to draw it then we simply put the dots for three and two for six and 2.5 and then we just join them with straight lines so again very uh, straightforward just make sure you remember all your titles um, but basically as I said it's more reading information off now the more challenging one which is going to be which we're looking at is our stem and leaf plot this is significantly more challenging if you have not seen this it can look really, really strange now often with a stem and leaf plot what they give you is what we often refer to as a key and they might say something like 2 slash 1 equals 21 years old um, or 21 years it can be lots of different things so what is a stem and leaf well a stem and leaf graph is separated into two different numbers we have the stem which we refer to usually as the tens column and the leaf is referred to as our units so in this particular key we've got the two and the one what that means is that we join those two numbers together to make 21 so if I looked for maybe the highest score in this particular graph where we've got the eight here and the five so if we put that together we can say it um, makes 58 uh, for the highest I'd put high then for highest what is the lowest score well in this case we put the 1 and the 0 next to each other that makes 10 therefore if we're looking for the range which is the highest subtract the lowest we're doing 58 take away 10 which equals 48 um, what is the most common I'm going to use that as the mode remember that's the most common score we've got two ones here um, and we've got two fives here which means the mode is 41 and it's also 35 because they both occurred the same amount of time. So again, with a stem and leaf graph, we put the stem and the leaf together to make those numbers. If I had to write the numbers out um, as is, we would have the smallest one um, there would be, uh, as we can see, 10, then followed by 13, then 16, then 21, 26, 27, 28, etc. And you can see how we're building those numbers there, each with the stem and followed by the leaf, or in other words, the, the tens and the units column going together. Okay, basically that's what we have for stem and leaf. It's not too challenging. Just make sure too that when you are drawing them, 
um, that you have these are uh, ordered. That's really important, particularly later on when we start looking at things to do with the median. Very crucial that they are ordered. The other thing too, make sure you don't put commas in between. We don't need commas. And in fact, if you put commas in, that's going to be incorrect. So we just want to have the stem, the leaf, and then the numbers as is from smallest to biggest. That's the stem and leaf graph, guys. That's a line graph. Hope that made a little bit of sense. Any questions, make sure you ask. Have a good day.